Hello and welcome back to Hot Nature. Please stay tuned and subscribe. Let us pray. Our dear Father in heaven, we want to say thank you. The death of Daria Diboye came as a surprise to many, especially his church members who saw it as a test of faith for his father, Pastor Adiboye. Many of them who were in disbelief prayed for him to come back to life. But after the Redeemed Christian Church of God released an official statement confirming his death, a lot of condolence messages have been pouring out. Daria Adiboye, who was born on June 9, 1978, was said to have died in his sleep on Tuesday, May 4th, in Eket Akwaibom State, where he was pastoring a church. His passing was even more shocking because he ministered the night before and showed no signs of illness before he went to bed. So if you are not going in the same direction with an individual, you should not be in the relationship with them. What is the definition or the meaning of a relationship? A relationship can be the state of being connected by blood or relationship. As born-again Christians, we have been washed by the blood of the Lamb. So as a brother to a brother, a sister to a sister in Christ, we are in a relationship by the blood of the Lamb. He was reportedly found lifeless the next morning when his wife raised an alarm after she couldn't reach him. Pastors were summoned to the scene and they all prayed for him, but nothing happened. Popularly referred to as Pastor D, Dari Adeboye was one of the most influential youth pastors in RCCG. His ministerial sojourn covered several states in Nigeria, including Niger, Benue, Kwara, Kogi, Nasara, Plateau, and Kaduna. He was also a pastor at RCCG House of Praise Birmingham in UK and chairman organizing committee of 70 hours Messiah's Marathon Praise. Dari Adeboye, who was a spitting image of his father, was described as someone who dedicated his life to educating and inspiring young people on how to utilize their faith in the various environments they find themselves in. He was married to Temilulua Adeboye and blessed with three children. Dari Adeboye is the third child out of four children and also the third son of Pastor Adejari Adeboye, which may explain why he looks just like his father. He grew up among his siblings, Leke Adeboye, Bolu Adubi, and Adeolu Adeboye. He was described as a miracle child who put the devil to shame at his birth on his 42nd birthday. <laughs> Although Dari was a graduate of law, he dumped his degree to become a pastor just like his parents. Before his death, Dari Adeboye had officiated service on Sunday, May 2nd of 2021, and his church members confirmed that he showed no signs of illness at the time and he was his usual vibrant self. Following the news of his death, RCCG confirmed the report in a statement released on their verified Twitter account. They described Dari as a beloved son, brother, husband, and father who went to be with the Lord, and they noted that the ministry had just lost a fearless leader. They also noted that his life was well lived as he served the Lord without reserve and gave himself effortlessly. They disclosed that they are sure that they will meet him one day in a place where there is no pain. They also asked that Pastor Deboe and his family be granted privacy to grieve and be supported in prayers. Due to Dari's love for privacy, not much is known about his wife or his children. However, what we do know is that they were married for 12 years and celebrated their wedding anniversary yearly on December 28th with other members of the Adeboye family. Dari's wife also runs an online store known as Lindsay Luxury Treats. Before his death, he was the serving pastor of City of David in Eket, Akwaibom State, where he resides with his family. In his last post on social media dating back to April 29, 2021, Dari Adeboye said he was preparing to to receive the scepter of favor. Sadly, he passed away before he could speak it into existence. Since the news of Dari's passing went viral, only his brother, Leke Adiboye, has reacted on social media. Leke shared several Bible passages relating to death on his Instagram page. And shockingly, Pastor Adiboye, who was expected to be grieving at this time, made his first public appearance after the death of his 42-year-old son. The general overseer featured at the May edition of the church Holy Ghost service. While he made no mention of his son's death, the cleric was visibly shaking. He spoke from the studio of the church station Dove Media while members of his church congregated in the auditorium in Ogu State.
And God said, let there be light. And there was light. I stand on this highly exalted altar tonight. And I speak over your lives as a mouthpiece of the Most High God. Everywhere darkness had prevailed thus far in your life, there shall be light. If you believe God is speaking to you, let your amen be loud and clear. Please take note tonight that there is no force stronger than God's word. There is no force stronger than God's word. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20. The Bible tells us that his word is yea and amen. So once again, I use this opportunity to decree and declare over your lives. Everywhere darkness had prevailed in your home, in your family, in your body, in your circumstances, in your finances, today there shall be light. If you believe it, let your amen be loud and clear. Please take note tonight that for God to speak is for God to act. For God to speak is for God to act. In Genesis chapter 1, in verse 3, in verse 6, in verse 9, in verse 11, in verse 14, in verse 20, in verse 24, in verse 26, in verse 28, the Bible says, and God said, and the moment he spoke, something happened. I speak over the life of one person here. I don't know whether it is a male or a female. Before tonight's service is over, there shall be a performance of God's word in your life. Please take note, brethren, that whenever God speaks, he's either addressing a situation in a person's life, he's